and the KMA Love and Insurer FM Sanitation Enforcement Team. Today started a house-to-house -house sanitation inspector, inspection drive to Quadaso Estate. Ten houses connected to one septic tank were found to be leaking human waste into the open. One landlord found on site was made to seal the direct link immediately, while others were giving um, individual houses to construct their own septic tanks. Erastus Asari Donko is with us, and um, he joins us for more. Erastus, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? By his grace. Awesome. I'm good. So where exactly are you now, and what's happening this morning? Well, so we are currently at Sof Line, and uh, we have been to Quadaso Estate. Uh, that's where we started uh, this campaign. Today, the sanitation enforcement team decided to go house to house, uh, check uh, people's environment uh, to see what is happening there, uh, check for environmental uh, sanitation anomalies, and uh, ask them to immediately abate or give notices as we have it. Now, we went to this house where we saw 10 houses all connecting uh, their uh, toilets to one particular septic tank. And so this septic tank is so full, it's overflowing and going directly into drains over there. And so we had to ask uh, one of the landlords to come in, dig out the, the pipe, which is transporting the effluent, cut it out, uh, seal the pipe with uh, concrete, and we gave them notices, all of them, to construct their separate uh, tanks. Then after that, we went to a different house where we saw that the owner of the house is uh, operating a chop bar in the house with no license at all from the assembly. Uh, it's also being operated close to this drain where a uh, toilet flows directly uh, into that particular drain. So we have seized all the food items she's selling, and uh, we have also given her notice to abate it. I have the uh, director, Metro Health, Environmental Health of the KMA, Mr. Batanin, uh, here with me. Uh, tell us, today, what have we found? Yes, uh, today we are at one of our communities uh, to do house-to-house -house inspection. But when we went around, we saw behind one of the houses, a friend from a tank who sells about 11 houses, 11 to 12 houses, flow into the public drain. We were able to call all of them, ask them to seal the drain, to block, and then allow, disallow the flowing of the water. We've also charged one reverend to ensure that you mobilize all of them, dislodge the tank, and ensure that each of the houses construct a septic tank for the house. But that's exactly what we noticed, that uh, it is difficult for them to do the collection for the dislodging. So we've contacted that guy, the reverend, he's been a reverend minister, to do that job for us. Uh, we are going back by next week to ensure that one, the tank has been dislodged, and then there's a preparation that uh, each of the houses should have a tank. Are we sustaining the house to house drive for how long? Yes, we are going to sustain the, the house to house drive. This week, we are at the Shiaiso. The following week, we go to Bantama, Chirari and the women from all the communities to ensure that all houses comply with the sanitation laws in the country. So that's Mr. Isaac Basanin, uh, who had the sanitation enforcement team. Um, Erasmus, do you feel like this drive, this sanitation drive, has really made a massive difference in terms of sanitation um, in Kumasi? I must say it has made a difference. Uh, in fact, the awareness which is necessary uh, for people to step on their toes uh, and, and try to do the right thing has been created. And so people are now aware that there is a team that is going around, there's an enforcement drive that is going on. We have to do the right thing from now. And so I would say that uh, the wind of change has started blowing, and um, with time we are going to see uh, more impactful uh, uh, sanitation uh, enforcement drive. Right, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Erastus, with that story there.